When people ask what makes a rare game or how you can recognise a rare game, I, I think you could do the cheap option, go, oh, it's a googly eyes. Eyes on absolutely everything. Big googly eyes. Big on. googly eyes on everything. But it's... I don't think you can actually spot a rare game. I, it's, that's, a difficult, that's a hard one to answer because all the rare games are sort of different. We don't settle into a groove. We always are trying to find something new and exciting to, to create. And that's not just for the players, because we as developers like doing different things as well. It's, it's a two-way street, but it works, works really well. What makes a rare game? Um, innuendo, um, British humour. We very rarely did a game that was completely po-faced and straight-laced. We've always tried to make it so that it's going to entertain. Because that's what we're in the business to do, entertain. And there's lots of ways to do that. But, you know, we like having a laugh and we like everybody else that plays our games to have a laugh. You've got to come in and have fun every day, right? If you come in and start wearing suits and, um, and uh, just acting a bit dry and just worrying about the numbers or worrying about this, then, then you're not going to create a fun experience. Everybody has fun. I don't think that you can make fun without having fun and I think that that shows when you, when you play the games. Ultimately, I think that the core of what makes a rare game is the amount of love uh, and care and attention to detail that the people at Rare put into it. We're, we're, kind of, we're a company of perfectionists. I don't think I've ever seen anyone quite obsess about a, a small bush that, <laughs> as, a, as a big tall tree or as a main character than we do. Going that extra mile, it was, it was something that everybody picked up off Tim and Chris. Like they were like um, really convinced that Going the extra mile and, and, and putting things in games that players don't expect was, was what would make their titles stand out and I think everybody, everybody kind of took the lead from that. The Rare logo was one of the first logos that I actually even recognised like as a gamer when I was sort of 12, 13. Everyone remembers the feeling when that Rare logo just spins onto the screen. I remember feeling like if you saw that logo on the box and at the start of the game and that logo would come up, you knew no matter what game it was, it was going to be your next like favourite game. Everything would come together to create this sort of intangible magic that you can't really can't really put your finger on. It's just it is literally a rare quality. Nothing felt like a rare game. It was just special. I don't know why. It just was. That sounds awful, but you know what? I mean? It's true though. Before 